Hey there guys, Connor here with Chrome Designs and thank you for watching this video tutorial. Now today I'm going to be teaching you how you can use, uh, basically apply the sky replacement effect in Photoshop. So up here on here I've got a picture of this golf course and you notice that it's a fairly bland sky, uh, minimal clouds and kind of a dull colour. Now today I'm going to be showing you how you can replace this with either a different colour so you can enhance the colour or whatever. Or you can just replace it with a different image. For example, I've got some clouds here. But anyway, let's start, shall we? Now, if you've got your image in, the, the, the um, typical way that you do this is you'd go to the magic wand tool and you just start to click around and do it that way. But if you have an image that involves some trees or anything with, with fine edges, you'll notice that it actually it doesn't do it very precise. So, just say your sky's blue here and you've got a big tr a tree around this area. Uh, around the leaves it will still remain the blue and it won't manage to actually get into the fine detail. But if you're using a simple image you could use that way, but I'm going to show you the complex way first. Well, the, I'm going to be showing you the complex way. So then you can apply it to all images as opposed to the simple way, where you could just apply it to one, one, one type. So anyway, let's start, shall we? Go to with the layer in, you want to go to layer, not layer, sorry, select and color range. And I bring up this box, you may have seen this box before, you may not. But anyway, what we're gonna do is we're gonna click in the sky, hold shift, and just click kicking up clicking around just to get all the areas. Go top left, down here, just try and make sure you get most of the area. So you see what's black, that will remain what it is, and what's white will basically what you'll be replacing. So on the Pretty much everything to be in white, you know, there's a big bit of a gap up there. You can use this box down here just to indicate your way you need to start to click. And then you can also drag the fuzziness up, which is like the tolerance in some respects. And if I've on 25, you see that it gives a distinct line between the um, sky and the land. So hit OK, and it will bring up this, it will bring it will start to add margins to your work. So now what you could do. You could either go to Hue and Saturation, and you can just, if you change the Hue and Saturation, you see that it's changing the sky. So you can have like a pink sky, or a red, a red sky, blue sky, which it already was, the orange sky, which is quite nice that does. That's not what I'm going to be showing you. So I'm going to have to do that again to show you the other way. So just bear with me here while I... um quickly scrub around these areas it's looking good okay now if you go to edit and cut when you've got this up I'll basically cut that edge so you know you've got some sky that you can get ready to put in so if you go back to your cloud sky highlight it all with the marquee tool edit and copy you can then just go edit and paste and paste it in and this image is rather large I'm going to go to a free transform and I'm just going to scale it down to have a nice image. You see that's really, really stretched. It's going to be, be a good idea to actually have held shift, but there we go. So just line it up. Well, that will do. Hit OK. Now if you drag it under that layer, you see that it appears there. Now this image is not very, not the best quality, so there's a bit of um, a bit of a few dodginess around these edges. But anyway, that's a good way how you can um, basically use basic sky replacement. Um, you can then, once you've got there, you go to sky and go to uh, hue and saturation. And you can change the colour of the sky as well. So the sky could be blue with the clouds. But anyway, that's about it from me, guys. Thanks for watching this video. Be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll speak to you soon. Bye.